love your books. I'm a fan. Thanks. No, I'm a fanatic. Mr. Kennel, it's an honor. I'm Betsy Wright from Penn. So nice to meet you. Betsy? Uh, this way, please. Thank you. There you go. Weird. Uh, I get at least 10 of those a year. How was the drive, Rich? Oh, <laughs> tranquil, thanks. I've been trying your cell phone all morning. No service? No phone. You turned it off, you son of a bitch. Um, Russell with some ideas. Anything I feel when my one client won't take my call. I apologize. Still love me? 10% uh, of the time. <clears throat> Please, make sure we connect after this panel. One of brothers wants to shoot night vision. They brought the Brinks truck. Oh. Mr. Kennel! Mr. Kennel! Uh, where do you get your ideas? Mr. Kennel, do you ever scare yourself? Richard! So. Richard! You gotta take this out! Huh? Cool, huh? Yeah! Could, could, could you sign it for me? Got it? How about a signature? Sir. Come on, come on, buddy. Go, come on, guys. Come on. I'll return. I love you. Is that me? Yeah, if it is, you need a waxing. Ah, sir. Richard. Well, well. Uh, will you two excuse me? <clears throat> Comfy, Richard? No, I'm wealthy. My caboose has landed his own reality show. Let me know if you find my dignity up there. Typical cells have appeared in your colon and spread to the lower intestine. I want you back next week for an upper GI. What is it? Well, it's nothing yet. Oh, come on, Josh. You're withholding. <laughs> I, I am, but until we know more. But it's serious. Well, let's take another look at it. <sighs> Frigged by the fickle finger of fate. Sorry? I mean, I'm not surprised. Mother died at a 44. Um, my father at uh, 36. You're looking for a reason. Oh, yeah, there's lots of reasons. Red meat, cigarettes, unprotected sex. Yeah, look, the reason is the same for all of us. We are mortal. I imagine, you know, writers, they enjoy it a great measure of control over their work. You control what your characters say, you control what they do, you even control the weather. Medicine's different, Richard. We're accustomed to a significant degree of chaos. Yeah, man plans and God laughs, huh? <laughs> when can we have another look at this? Move it. Come on, knuckleballs. What are you, blind or blind drunk? Damn it. Please, God, it better be nothing. I'll die when I'm ready to die.
Richard Kennel? Yes, I am. I should have known you'd go right for that. It's so you. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I'm Judy DeMint, live down the street. Um, what can you tell me about this painting, Judy? It's original. The artist was Bobby Hastings. He's the reason I'm selling off all of the Hastings things. The house was theirs. They even left a dog. The subject looks like a rock and roll cannibal. Bobby was like that. He wore the same T-shirt day in and day out. It had a picture of the Led Zeppelins on it. By the end, Bobby was just skin and bone, dirty all the time. At the end what? Suicide. Bobby was just 23. He was the tortured genius type, you know, but still living at home. It was the drugs. Uh, <clears throat> uh, do you uh, have any other paintings? Shooting you. No. One fine Tuesday, Bobby took all his paintings and sketches out into that side yard, except for that one, I guess, and burned them. Bobby must have had 70 or 80 plus all his sketchbooks. Iris, that's Bobby's mother, said most of them are real bad. Lots worse than this stuff that'd curl your hair. Most of them had sex stuff in them. Really? In the garage, they found over a hundred of those little bottles they sell crack cocaine in. This is where Bobby used to paint. Anyway, I guess he finally reached the end of his chain. No pun intended. <clears throat> Aren't drugs awful, Mr. Kennel? They certainly were. When Iris found him hanging right there, There was a tiny note pinned on his shirt. It said, I can't stand what's happening to me. Really? Um, I feel the same way. Okay, so, um, how much do you want for the painting, Judy? $45. Oh, quiet! Oh, he's gonna buy that dog. He won't listen to me. I'll be honest with you, I started at 70, but nobody likes it, so now it's marked down. Where in the world do you get all those crazy ideas? I'd rather live.
so sorry. <laughs> I stopped at the yard sale on the way. Oh, did you find any treasures? I always do. <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, okay. This one's gonna blow your pantyhose off. Oh, well, that's a charming thought. Well? Oh, Richard. It's horrible. I hate it. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Oh. The road virus heads north. Fitting, isn't it? Mm. Oof. Who would paint such a thing? Surprised you weren't more sensitive to it yourself. You're the master of fear. Always were an imaginative fella. <laughs> I didn't notice a tattoo. It's those teeth. No, no, no. I saw those. Uh, it looks different in this light. This guy looks darker than I remember. Anyway. Thanks for lunch. You liked it? Delicious. Thoughts? Oh, um, I had a checkup today. My very first colonoscopy. And uh, they found something. I have to go in for more tests. Have they done a biopsy? Next week. Oh. That's not so bad. It's not so good. You're thinking about my sister. It's not like it was in her day. Well, what am I, 50? Mom was, uh, 40 when she got sick. Mm -hmm. But she had four good years. You know that, uh, that artist that hung himself, he, he left a simple note. It said, I can't stand what's happening to me. Oh, stop that talk. It's self-pity. Busy living. You've got 50 more books to write. 50. Oh. <laughs> I gotta stop off at Sally's on the way home. She's watching Hobo for me, you know? You and Sally gonna get together? No, they're just friendly. Hmm. Well, maybe you could use a little more friendly in your life, hmm? No, thanks. One time around the park with Sally is enough for any man. <laughs> well, now, Richard, I know you're going to be fine. You just have to keep a good attitude. That's most important, and you can start by getting rid of that horrid picture. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm serious. When you get to the Sacco River, I want you to pull off into that breakdown lane and throw it over. <sighs> Look at me, Richard. I'm 63. My secret is simple. Fill your life with flowers. <clears throat> Hear that, road virus? Aunt Trudy wants you to go for a swim. No, sink. I love you. I love you. A bushel and a peck. Thank you.
Legs. I'm sure you eat your fiber. It's okay now. You can come out. Here. Oh, sorry, Richard. Your dog's inside. Hey, is he always so thirsty? I can't keep him away from the toilet. Maybe he's got a salt imbalance. I'm just saying I'd look into it. How was the writing conference? Fine. You feeling less threatened by your popularity? Sally, um, thanks for watching, Hobo. Can you bring him out? You're not coming in? No, Quiet. no, it's late. It's late. I, uh, what? I got two more hours to get up to dairy. Oh, I understand. You probably have someone waiting. No, nobody's waiting. Oh, my God. What happened to our car? I mean, your car. Did someone break in? Ah, it's a long story. Were they trying to steal your painting? Huh? I bet you stopped at a consignment shop. You're always treasure hunting. Destroy it. Oh, tell me you didn't buy that. Or is it a gift from one of your sick fans? Oh, Richard? Are you okay? I destroyed that. I threw it in a river. 
God, you're not well. Look at you. You're bone white. Hey, you look better. You got some color back. <laughs> Richard, you're acting weird. You're freaking out your own dog. The yard sale was in, um, Rosewood, New Hampshire. What yard sale? The yard sale where I bought the painting. When I bought it this afternoon, the Firebird was crossing the Zaycom Bridge in Boston. Now it's in Rosewood. The painting is changing. It's following me. You're drinking again. No. The pills? No. Then what is it? Richard, you had a checkup after the writing conference. I mean, what did your doctor say? found something. What did he find? He didn't say. Why didn't you tell me this? Were you expecting to drive home alone and keep this inside? Now tell me exactly what the doctor said. <sighs> Whatever he said is the least of my worries. Right now, there is the distinct and terrifying possibility that I might be losing my mind. Not losing your mind, Richard. You just had a terrible day. I think you need a healing. Oh, God, yes, a healing. healing. Gotta get you out of these clothes first. Come on out back. Starting in 2006. We interrupt now for a breaking local news story. A Rosewood woman has been brutally murdered while doing a favor for an absent friend. 38-year-old Judith DeMent has been conducting step? a yard sale outside her neighbor's home when she was savagely attacked. Neighbors heard a loud car accelerating away from the vicinity along Route 1. Okay, so we have to adorn your chakras in crystal. Do you think that crystals will tame a runaway imagination? Yes, they will. Why? God, it's hot in here. Yeah, well, that's the point. Your body is releasing toxins. Okay, now take this. It's a flower extract to combat fear. Open up. Come oh, on. I'll take a pint. You have to educate yourself. About health, Richard. You're a writer. Do your research. Knowledge is power. Power to fight. Uh, right now. That's what Aunt Trudy said. Like magic. What'd you do with it? Don't ask. Sally. It's in the trash where it belongs. Did it change? I didn't look. 
No, I mean, was it still the yard sale? I told you I wouldn't look, and neither should you. <clears throat> Here. What's this? I I, <clears throat> I, I I want you to stay at the Lighthouse Inn tonight. Richard. No, please, if you do, I'll be able to sleep. I'm not afraid of your painting. I know, just humor me. Thank you for the healing. You're welcome. Oh, and um, Hobo thanks you, too. Anytime, Hobo. Hey. Find your way back. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll beat this thing inside me and just um, surprise everyone. away.
Lakewood police tell us that today's murder is not the first tragedy in this neighborhood. Just last year, a boy next door committed suicide in this same house. It's very sad, Claudia. Very sad for the DeMet family and all their friends. I'm Claudia Clements, reporting from Rosemary. It's real. This is real. Trudy. I know it encourages burglars to say things like this, but I've gone to Kennebunk to watch a movie. If you intend to break in, please don't take my China pig. If you want to leave a message, do so at the beach. Trudy? Call me when you get back home. I don't care how late it is, just call me. Please not, Aunt Terry. Send him by the coast road. Please send him down the coast road. No. No. No! Yes, dear. What is it? Are you all right? Uh, I'm better now. What, what's wrong? Your, your voice sounds all funny. It's trembly. What is it? It's that picture, isn't it? It's that damn picture. Well, yeah, you, you were right. It, it, it's evil. So I burned it in the fireplace. Well, well good. Scatter the ashes, too. You were worried about me, weren't you? Because you showed it to me? Yes. Fire was the right idea. That, that's how they used to kill evil, right? Well, you've used it a few times in your books. <laughs> You're right. I, I, I did. Now I'm fine, Richard. You got some sleep. You've had a hard day, huh? You gotta stay strong and healthy. We'll talk tomorrow? I think so. Good night, dear. Yeah, but now even if he'd taken the coast road.
Mogul. 